They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But at House Laboratories, we say... Oh my god. She definitely sounds like Lady Gaga. I told you she was good at impersonating. Even before I started this video, I told you. Kamosta, mabuhay, magandang gabi, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ovo Silvela, and I think that today we will be reacting to a very interesting video. The title of this video is Meet Inka Magnaye, the voice you hear when you're on board a PAL flight. PAL, I'm thinking, is Philippine Airlines flight, right? Esquire Philippines. So are they gonna introduce us to the person behind that voice? This is very new to me, you know? This is actually in line with my channel because it is uh, regarding, you know, uh, vocals, right? And audio. So this is gonna be very interesting. Uh, but before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. And of course, I'd like to thank my dear patrons for their amazing, amazing support on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. And on Patreon, you get to enjoy exclusive reaction videos. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to make my mom repeat after me. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Philippine Airlines VO, which means voiceover with my mom. And welcome to Philippine Airlines. And welcome to Philippine Airlines. They sound extremely similar. Oh, she used to be a radio DJ. Okay, so she's been in uh, the audio industry for a very long time then. Let's make another radio plug, but this time it's for twice. This is literally all I've been doing all my life. Uh, She's a voice talent, okay, yeah. Um, I, I started when I was five years old. Yeah, huh. it's opened a lot of doors for me, different opportunities, like I did radio for eight years. Broadcasting live from the Republic of the Filipinas, this is the station of the new generation. But it's basic. She must be really great at impersonating uh, different accents too. Always and she's hot. It's just about voice. Like all my jobs have always been around voice. All right, then tell so me. Cool. Tell me. Do you think of someone else when you kiss me? For live. That's what I was thinking as well. I'm pretty sure she dubbed multiple movies and maybe even cartoons. Voiceovers, I make sure to go there at least an hour before the show starts so I can read through the whole script. Because another thing is I'm dyslexic. So No freaking way. Oh my God, that must be really difficult, you know, to do your job. Properly. Oh, uh, I really need to go through the entire script to make sure that I'm not misreading mm -hmm. anything. Happy Hunger Games and may the odds be ever in your favor. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. I do facial exercises. Too. That is so great. And I'm digging her tattoos kind of like work out because a big part of pronunciation is how you form it's it's oral posture mm -hmm. so it's how you form your mouth when you say these words a lot of people ask me if I drink cold beverages or whatever I do I love cold water but what I'm most careful about is sleeping in an air-conditioned room yes because, that's tough um, the temperature of the air is cold and the air conditioning can dry out your mouth and your throat Oh, and your nose too, man. When uh, I sleep with either uh, air conditioning or a fan, I actually get nosebleeds. It's so weird, so don't do it. You need moisture when you sleep. So as much as possible, I try not to sleep in any air conditioned rooms mm -hmm. before a recording. My favorite tonic Smart. is salabat with honey and calamansi. Oh, what is salabat? But she said honey. Honey helps with everything. We care about your safety. We care about your safety. I always get texts like, Hi, um, could we send your voice 
for an airline. And I'm like, yeah, sure, go. And then they came back to me and they said, can you do like a more specific sample? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I sent them a recording and then I got chosen. What do you think? <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> I do these voiceover things. This was me in 2017 dubbing for a Mexican telenovela. I played three to five different roles on this show alone. That is insane. So she basically has to change her voice a little bit, you know? That's crazy. Because I really enjoy it. Like I Client, can you give us different takes so we can choose? Love, me? Love uh, mm -hmm. the pursuit of, of looking for ways to become better. They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But at House Laboratories, we say... Oh my God. She definitely sounds like Lady Gaga. I told you she was good at impersonating. Even before I started this video, I told you. Yo, you know, like people like this are very sought after, you know, in the, uh, you know, film industry, for example. Beauty is how you see yourself. Damn. So that's what you see. See, Lady Gaga has a deep voice. In all of my videos, it's just me trying to look for ways to, what else can I do? What else can I do with this? You know what I mean? The question I get asked most often is, are you the voice mm. on Spotify? Mm, man, her deep voice is very sexy. Unfortunately, no, I'm not. But with Spotify Premium, <laughs> you have unlimited skips, and you can listen to all your favorite songs without the annoying ads. I do. Oh, <laughs> she's so good. Tagalog spiels. Like for the Philippine Airlines, I did all their domestic in flight spiels, which was entirely in Tagalog. And then I asked them, is this okay? Do you like it? Come on, I want to hear her speak Tagalog. Man, she's pretty too. And Philippine Airlines said, yes, your Tagalog is great. I do Yay. the Cinemalaya opening and closing ceremonies live, so I can do Tagalog. Ang sumusunod na palabas ay rated SPG. Strictong patnubay at gabay ng magulang ang kailangan. Wow, well, there you go. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't speak Tagalog, but to me, she sounded like a real native. I don't know. I have a podcast. I just released a podcast. Um, it's designed to help people relax and go to sleep. Oh, it's perfect. Her voice could be perfect for those types of uh, of audio clips. You know, like before you go to bed, she's there and speaking in a very soothing voice to relax you and everything. Sleeping Pill with Inca, the first episode it's on Spotify. People have been asking me how I take care of my hair, so <laughs> I thought I'd make a little video for you. But like I said, I have never known anything else. So I don't I don't really know how it changed my life because this has been my life, my life from the beginning. Yeah. That is so freaking cool, guys. Wow. Bro, can you imagine starting this job at the age of five? You know, like you grew up, you grew up in that industry, you know, so obviously you get better at it with time and everything and you get bigger and bigger and bigger roles with time. And the interesting part is that she had different gigs, you know, it's like dubbing voices for a Mexican telenovela is completely different from, uh, you know, uh, making a speech for, a, for an airline, you know? It's completely different. But she seems to be very versatile, you know, like she can adapt to anything because she's that talented. And don't forget, she is di dyslexic. <laughs> so that makes things a little harder for her, but I'm guessing with time she has developed a routine you know that uh, helps her do her job properly and pro she's also extremely gorgeous so yeah I had no idea about about you know I, I didn't know this girl Inca Magnaye so thank you for sending me this uh, suggestion let me know in the comment section below if you thought this video was interesting um, yeah thank you for watching maraming maraming salamat po Take care of yourselves, have a great day, don't forget to smile, and I will see you in the next video as usual. Yes, baby. Peace.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.